My name is Maureen and I'm just leaving Holiday Inn where I came for my 7 a.m. Weight Watchers weekly meeting and I got weighed in and everything. So before I get into that though, guess what they brought back? Because we're in a hotel now. We're not in the studio, which means we don't have products listed out. But from now on, they're going to be selling like snacks, one or two of them. And I got two of these babies because I like making my nachos with these they had the mac and cheese sticks as well but i wasn't too keen on trying those so i got two of these for nine bucks and a lot is it i don't know and then they gave this tote bag as well so that's that's how it went but how did my week go my week went pretty i don't know i think i i had another binge on saturday i i was just hungry i don't know what went on with that and i've just been really bloated like for two days and i think it's that ice blended mocha i get from coffee bean Be i get it with just with regular milk i need to start getting it with almond milk because i think that's what bloats me up and this last week i've been i haven't really been tracking i haven't really been i don't know what it is i don't know if it's because i'm on lifetime and i'm just like in that mode i would like to lose like 10 pounds more get down to 140 but um i don't know what's going on like i just really haven't been in it the past week or two which i don't know but how did i do on the scale which is great if you're trying to maintain i'm not trying to maintain i'm trying to get rid of this 1.6 and then another 10. So that's how it went. And I voiced my little frustration because I got a little frustrated. And um, my leader, he said that if you feel frustrated, I'm sorry if the video starts getting like really bumpy and stuff, but these roads are not the best. So yeah, um, he said if you start getting frustrated or things just aren't working, the scale's not going where you want it to go, the jeans aren't fitting how you want them to fit, start changing things up. Like maybe distribute your points a bit differently. Maybe get another zero point food into your rotation. Maybe eat different foods, like foods that you haven't been eating in a while. Start eating those. So that was his little tip. Yeah. But what did we talk about in the meeting? So we talked about doing what's doable. Doing what's doable. So what like first of all, what does that mean to you? That means you start small. That means you do what's in your means. So you would start with what was it? I have the whole thing that he listed out, but generally in a nutshell what he said cuz he was going writing down like what's doable. So like don't, don't start at a hundred don't start at, a lot of us we start at a hundred or we want to start there we want to run a, we want to run like a 5k right off the bat you got to build up to these things you know or we start oh my gosh this is such a stressful part because like these cars are just zooming by and i don't know what this person's doing why are you so crazy oh anyways sorry so yeah um what was i saying yeah so you want to run a marathon and that's where you start or that's where you want to start you want to start running you want to start going at 100 no you're not there yet i'm sorry you have to build up to it it's it's i'm gonna run an eight mile i'm gonna run an eight mile i'm gonna run a mile in eight minutes and i'm not getting off the couch until i'm at that point it's Either I'm working out for an hour or I'm not doing anything. It's all or nothing, basically. We don't want to get there or we don't want to get there. We don't, you don't want that type of mindset. You want to do what you can do, do what's doable. If only 15 minutes is doable, if that's all that's doable, that's all that fits within your time constraints. That's all that you're mentally able to do right now. You're physically able to do right now. 15 minutes, five minutes is great. It's better than zero. Going at 32 is better than going at zero. Giving it 
10% is better than giving it 0%. Whatever you're doing, it's better than not doing it. You want to track all week? That's great. But some of us, we're not there yet. We haven't tracked in months. We haven't tracked in years. Why are you going to track every single thing in one week? Start with a day. Start with one meal. Just one meal a week. I'm just going to track breakfast. Start there. I'm just going to start and track one breakfast. You have to do what fits within your time budgets. And you have to do what works for you. This is what we talked about in the meeting as well. And I'm a huge believer in in doing what works for you not what works for me not what works for your leader not what works for anyone else i was doing crazy stuff back 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 years ago back in the day of weight watchers like i would go to three four different uh grocery stores just because oh you can get oh you can get a one point tortilla at this walmart but it's only at this walmart all the way on this in another town and you can get a two point a halo top and it's like two points for a cup and that's only available in this walmart that's on the other side of town and you best believe that i was driving to different walmarts different stores different whatever to get these low point things you don't need to do that learn from me don't do these dumb little things because what does it matter if it's a one point tortilla or a three point tortilla or whatever speaking of tortillas this one lady um she was sharing a tortilla it was what was it guerrero's tortillas it's the 25 calorie ones you can get four for like two points or something and they're like i don't know if they're small but she said that they're thin but not thin that they can't get the job done but you know I was like, oh, let me try that. And you can get that at Superior Markets. So I'm going to drive down to Superior and get those. But, yeah. So you have to do things that work for you. That work for you. You know, if you're not a type of person who gets up at 5 a.m. to work out, I'm not. That's never going to be me. What does it matter if you work out at, work out at 5 a.m. or like 9 p.m. as long as it's getting done? You don't need to do what's working for other people just because other people are saying, oh, I love doing this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure, you know, learn from them. Say, hey, okay, great idea. Never going to work for me, so don't do it. Yeah, it's great that you run a mile in eight minutes. Not me. I don't want to run a mile. I don't even want to run half a mile. Quarter mile? Okay, I don't even want to run. I want to walk a quarter mile start there start small you have to do what is doable for you and for your lifestyle because this is a lifestyle change and that doesn't mean changing it so drastically that you get that it becomes uncomfortable you get overwhelmed you get frustrated you stop doing it so what's like one little teeny tiny thing that you can do right now that that's like a no-brainer that that's it's not hard it's not overwhelming a small doable type of thing what is something you can do so people were saying things like just scroll through connect now i was like yeah i'm gonna scroll through here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna scroll through tiktok look through the weight watchers tag and find what i eat in a day videos that's it i'm not committing to anything but maybe just get inspired it could be something small like i'm gonna park in the furthest spot just today just today i'm gonna park in the furthest spot why why just today what's this even gonna do it's gonna get the ball rolling it's gonna get the ball rolling it's gonna start the snowball effect you start doing it and it's like yeah you know what it wasn't that bad i'm gonna do this tomorrow too i'm gonna do this the next day i was only planning on doing it one day but now hey here i am doing it three days and it starts progressing like that you don't ever want to do something that's so much and so overwhelming and so insane that that you just stop the program altogether. We don't want that. We don't want anyone to stop. And people do that all the time, you know? It's like, oh, I fell off of Weight Watchers. Why? Because, oh, I was doing all this, and I had to do this, and I had to do this. You don't have to do this, and this, and this. One small thing. It could just be water. It could just be when I wake up in the morning, 
pair it with an activity that's another thing he said it has to be easy whatever you're doing has to be easy for you like super easy so one thing right now what is something right now let's focus what is something that's easy but you aren't going to do it anyways but it's so easy it's a no-brainer you can do it what's something so it could be like i'm just going to track one meal that's easy i'm just going to measure out my nuts because I'm over measuring that quarter cup. That's something someone said in the meeting. Get a measuring cup, start measuring out, your, start using your utensils, whatever. Can the squirrel, squirrel go run across the street? Go, do you wanna get, oh my God. Squirrels, am I right? Squirrel. But um, yeah, so whatever you do, don't overburden yourself. Go small. And that's how we get to gold, people. That's how we get to roll. Small, doable, easy things. So thank you guys so much for driving home with me. Making sure I didn't run over anyone. That's how my week went. Now let me know in the comments below how your week went. I still have to read the third chapter of the shift book. So pay attention for when that live's happening. And um, the Lean for Halloween challenge. I'm not sure when Connect's launching yet. I haven't checked yet. Oh my gosh, I almost run this dude over but um yeah so i'm going to be saying when we'll be doing the lean for halloween challenge possibly next week but you might get like surprise video like surprise here we are so i'll check today but maybe next week we'll start it lean for halloween that is going to be a numbers challenge me i want to lose 10 pounds well 11.6 i want to lose 11.6 so we'll see how that goes. And as for me, I'm going to find some recipe ideas. And I'm also, I'm going to change some stuff. Change the meals that I'm eating. Change how I'm distributing my points, something to see if that works. See, I'm acting like weight loss is so hard for me. But I've been losing consecutively for a couple weeks. And just this week, it's plus minus zero, which is great if you're trying to maintain. But again, I'm not trying to maintain. So... I don't know let me know how you guys did in the comments below and if you're in for lean for halloween i will announce the date shortly maybe next saturday i don't know but tune in next week and be sure to subscribe and like this video and i will see you guys next time bye